Hey everyone, we've made it to week four. We're about halfway through with our lessons. Um, today's lesson is on um, how did inventions and entrepreneurs impact the lives of Americans? Before the Civil War, there were four huge inventions that made a big deal um, in the lives of Americans. The first one is the cotton gin. Um, Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin, and basically it was just a wooden box, and it had a turnstile. You put the cotton on the top of um, a grate, turned the wheel, and um, the cotton would fall into the slats, and the little cotton seeds would stay on the top. And so it separated them. One of the most labor intensive parts of harvesting cotton was removing the seeds from inside of the like cotton ball. They were very prickly and sticky and hard to remove. And it took um, the free labor force, the slaves, a long time to do that. So Eli Whitney came up with this invention that would separate it for the slaves. Um, but instead of setting of cutting down on the amount of slaves needed in the South because the slaves weren't needed to pick the, um, the seed out of the cotton, plantation owners planted more cotton. So it did not cut down on the amount of slaves needed. It actually increased the amount of slaves needed because now the plantations, the, co the plantation owners were planting more cotton. Um, but it really revolutionized the South, um, really helped um, manufacture that cotton. You got paid on, um, for your cotton based on the weight. Well, the seed had to remove, be removed from the cotton balls before they weighed it. So it was a very labor-intensive part of the process. Um, the second invention that helped American farmers was called the reaper. Um, basically, it's a wooden plow with a metal um, blade on it. So instead of walking up and down um, aisles of wheat, um, barley, whatever you were cutting with a machete or a um, scythe and actually swinging it, you could hook this reaper up to whatever animal you had pulling it, whether it was a horse or an oxen. And when that animal pulled the reaper, it would cut down your wheat or whatever it was you were harvesting. Um, this made the lives of farmers much, much easier. Um, Cyrus McCormick is given responsibility for um, inventing the reaper, but a lot of people say that Joe Anderson, who was a slave on um, McCormick's um, plantation um, really did most of the work. His name was Joe Anderson. Um, th Joe Anderson lived on the farm as sort of um, an equal. He did a lot, he had a lot of responsibility. He did a lot of work. No, he didn't have his freedom, um, but he wasn't um, treated as poorly as a lot of slaves. Um, so he helped to t um, invent, test, and um, produce the McCormick Reaper. Somewhere over on 81, Interstate 81 in, south, in the south part of Virginia, western part of Virginia, you can stop, you can see brown signs, you know, the historic markers for the McCormick Farm. You can actually stop and see where this was invented. Kind of cool. Um, the next invention was the steamboat. Robert Fulton is given responsibility for the steamboat. Um, a steamboat, now you're not having to paddle, okay? It's running on steam. You've got the big um, wheels in the back pushing it along. And not only does it go faster, but it, actually, it, but it also goes against the current, which was a big deal. It wasn't hard to get down the Mississippi with your goods, but it was very difficult to come back up the Mississippi. So this, this steamboat, helped travel faster and travel against the current. Um, so basically it was just a big boat with the wheel on the back and uh, a steam pipe where the steam um, came out of the top. Um, the last thing is the steam locomotive. The steam locomotive, um, it, which is a train, we know that, it basically looked like a barrel on its side with wheels and a steam pipe. 
okay? And um, the steam came out of the top and it obviously led to faster overland transportation. Um, you could travel on the steamboat wherever there was water, but there was a process of train tracks having to be built, obviously, before they could use the steam locomotive. Um, those are four of the inventions that really impacted farmers and people starting to travel um, west um, to look for gold or to farm or whatever it was that they were going west for. Um, the railroad is going to be very important in the Civil War. Um, lots more railroads in the North than there were in the South. So one of the tactics of the Union Army, the Northern Army, would be to rip up the railroads in the South so um, they couldn't be used for transportation. The Confederate Army ripped them up also so the Union Army couldn't move trips troops and supplies also. Um, so the sheet that you have to turn in this week is called um, in New Inventions um, Worksheet. Um, and you just fill in what the invention was, um, who the inventor was, and what its purpose was. I also gave you notes to go along with this video. It's an LMS classroom, and I also emailed it to you. Um, so the inventions were the cotton gin by Eli, Eli Whitney, the reaper by Cyrus McCormick, the steamboat by Robert Fulton, and the steam locomotive. Um, all four of those are going to impact travel and help the farmers. Um, I hope you guys were good to your mom yesterday or whichever, who, whomever um, female in your life takes care of you. Um, I am going to be doing a second video on um, the main ideas expressed by the abolitionist movement and the women's suffrage movement. Um, look for that to come either later tonight or in the morning. Um, enjoy this week. Um, it's not a lot of heavy information. Um, of course, we would have done a lot of foldables and fun stuff with it in class. Um, I miss you all a lot, and I hope you're staying safe. Um, I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll send another one later. Enjoy. Bye.